Today we're in San Luis Obispo. We're at Laguna Middle School, home of the Lancers, and today we're here to... Today we're at Laguna Middle School. We're in San Luis Obispo and we've got seventh grader Ian. Ian, you ready? Yep. All right. How do you like fractions? Don't know. Uh, really? Don't know. You like <gasps> fractions? Oh man, I don't know what I'm getting into. All right. How about mixed numbers? You know how to work with mixed numbers yeah. a little bit? Yeah. Would you rather use fractions or mixed numbers? Fractions. Fractions. All right. Improper fractions or not? You know the difference between um, an improper yeah, fraction? Yeah, okay. an improper fraction is where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Perfect. Would you like some of those or just um, common fractions? Just common fractions. Okay. Let's go uh, with this one and we will add fractions. All right. So you okay. will give me the four numbers that will go in here. Okay. All right. First number. Two. Next number. Eight. Next number. Six. Last number. Eleven. Ooh, nicely done. All right. There we go. Two sixths plus eight elevenths. How are you going to go ahead and do this problem? Well, I would have to find the. Oh, what was it called? So. Common denominator? Yes. Okay. Yeah. For each of these, and it's got to be the least. And I think th that would be. 11 times 6, so 66. Perfect. So 66 would be the least common denominator. So everything you were saying is perfectly right on. Okay? You were looking for the common denominator and the least one. Mm -hmm. Right? So 6 and 11, the least common denominator is 66. Uh -huh. uh, there's a lot of things we could do. We could find all the multiples of them, but this one actually works out to be 66. So why don't you go ahead and put your fraction bars right there. So that would be... Can I get a better marker? Mm -hmm. Whatever one you like. Okay. So what's next? And then, then you have to multiply the top by 11 as well so that they stay the same. Multiply both of the tops by 11? Yeah. Or just this one? This one and this one. The, okay. num the numerators. All right. So why are we going to multiply this by 11? Because if we're going to multiply this by 11, then this also has to be by 11, so that it's the same fractions. Right. You're on the right track. You want the same fractions. You want equivalent fractions. And this will multiply by 11 to get to 66. But yeah. if we multiply 11 times 11, what would we get? Oh, so this would be by 11, and this would be by 6. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. So 2 times 11 is 22, and 8 times 6 is is 48. Okay. What is the next step? Then the next step would be to add them. Okay. And then afterwards we would reduce them. Let's go ahead and add them first. Okay. So and that'd you be go ahead and seven, uh, okay. put that it over be, on the side there. That would be 70 66. And how did you get 70? Because there's some students watching because you did this in your head, which yeah. is fine, but they may be like, where did the 70 so, come from? I added the 8 and the 2, and I got 10, and then I added the four, or the 40 and the 20, and that was 60, and 60 plus 10 is 70. Perfect. So we have 70 over 66. and That's way, an improper fraction. Improper fraction. That's exactly what I wanted you to make a reference to. So if we didn't want an improper fraction, what would we have to do to this? We would have to divide uh, 70 by 66. Okay. So. And that's a fairly easy one, yeah. right? How many times is 66 going to go into yeah. 70? It, once. Once. So we'll have our whole number one. Yeah. And then what is the fraction part next to it? That would be 466. Right. So why don't you go ahead and put that over there. Perfect. So we added 2 sixths and 8 elevenths. You made mm -hmm. equivalent fractions with least common denominators. Mm -hmm. Then we came out to 70 66, an improper fraction, and you turn that into a mixed number. Can we simplify the mixed number? Yes. Okay. We can and you can go ahead and write it down okay. here. So okay. You have to... So, and 4 66 So, 
two can go both in, t in both of those. So that's two, and that's 33. So, so what is our final? We need to just so go ahead and write it right the here. The final nice answer would be one and two thirty thirds. After you simplified everything, Ian, nicely done. Thank you.